What's up guys, back with another YouTube video for y'all. And we got something on the menu tonight and I'm gonna be cooking up some cheap cuts of pork loin. Some things you can get inside the store that are so cheap, they're smaller than some of your other higher quality pork loin like you can get at Costco or your butcher. Well, let, let's take a look at these. And these are some pork loins, guys. These right here are cheap. Got these from Kroger's. You see how big they are in my hands right here. Look at the size of them. And I'm not going to really do any trimming to them. I'm going to keep them kind of like that. Um, and we're going to cook these just like I cook a steak. Uh, maybe a reverse sear. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to take off a glove so I can have a clean hand because I'm working with pork. And all you want to do, guys, to get the maximum flavor in these um, pork loins, I've got a bowl right here, okay? And I'm going to take these pork loins. I'm just going to put it in here. Okay, this, and this process is not going to take long. Got those in there right there. Okay, and all I need right here, I got some, uh, you can use any kind of Italian dressing. You can use the cheap kind if you want to, but guys, it's hard to find a lot of things. So this is what I have in the house. I got some Olive Garden signature Italian dressing. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use a little bit. That's it, that's all I want, okay? And all you want to do is take this hand, kind of get it all over that. And this is kind of like a marinade, guys. And like I said, you can do this anywhere from 15, 30 minutes, or even overnight if you want. Depending on how long you want to marinate these. The more time, the more flavor you got in there. But I have, we're cooking dinner tonight, so I didn't do these overnight. So that's gonna be what it is. Next thing you wanna do is put your favorite seasoning on there. So, well, I have a lot of favorite seasonings, but today I'm using the Chupacabra poultry seasoning. This only had to go on chicken. It's good on pork too. Um, I love this stuff. We're gonna just put this all over it. Get it all over the meat. And all this seasoning will soak up into this. I'm telling you it's gonna be good. Mix it all up. Make sure you get all everything else. That's looking good. So once that's sitting right there, what you want to do, make sure I don't touch none of that liquid. Put these in your refrigerator. Let them sit. I'm going to let them sit for about 20 minutes in the fridge, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And then we're going to be going on the grill. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So look, outside, got the PK grill going. Got it set up for indirect heat. Got these coals set up right here. They're nice and hot. These are some of them mixed from yesterday. Let's go ahead and get this clothes and put on the grill grate. Go on and get that clothes. Got a piece of hickory wood. And all I'm gonna do is take my grill grate. And I'm gonna use half of it, half of a set. And put it on this side. If you don't have a grill grate, that's fine. You can go ahead and use the grates itself. But the one thing I like about the grill grate is that it keeps it from flaring up. And it makes some nice little grill marks. I don't know how good we're gonna get on these uh, pork loins, but we're gonna try it out. All you wanna do now, go ahead and close your lid and let this heat come up. Let me come over here and do this. We're gonna get it nice and hot. Open my top vents right there. Boom. And voila. Next time we come out here, we'll already be ready and we'll be putting the uh, pork boys on. All right, so I got these pork loins ready to go. This grill is heated up pretty good. So what I got right now, like I said, I got the grill grates on it, half a rack, and we're gonna take one, and we're just gonna throw it on there, guys. Throw it at maybe a little small angle. Press it down, get it pressed down pretty good. And this ain't gonna make no pretty grill marks, but let's see if I, what I can get out of it. Throw the other one right there. Give it enough room. And you gotta let that cook real good on one side so that meat can release off the grates. That way you get ready to turn it, won't stick so much. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good close. Just like a steak, guys, about three, four minutes on that side. Let it cook a little bit, then I'll flip it. All right, so look, time to open these, give these boys a turn. In about three, four minutes on this side. And like I said, these are thin. These ain't gonna take long, so let me go ahead and turn this one first. Get it released. All right, 
Not that bad. Go ahead and do the other one. Get that release right there. Pull that back over there. Like I said, it ain't gonna be the prettiest of real marks because it's just the shape or the way it's going. But we're gonna make it work. Go ahead and give us another close. Another three, four minutes on that side. And then we'll move them off to the side and I'll show you what we'll do next. Let's look see what these look like over here. Go ahead and turn these over. All right, look at that. Got a little bit of the grill marks in there. So what I want to do, go ahead and put these over here. I'm going to put them over there like that. The other one over here, just like that. And what we'll do now is what I like to do is like, we're going to kind of like smoke these. Right? It's almost like a reverse sear in a way. Put a little wood in there. I got a little hickory right there. We'll go ahead and close this lid. I got this maybe about 250, 250 degrees. And we'll come back and check those. Um, I kind of be taking the temp as I go, checking them out, trying to see where my temp is falling until they're done. All right, so we got these pork loins right here on the cutting board. I've let them rest about 10 minutes. We're gonna get to cutting. These things, I'm telling you, they're gonna come out good. So let's see how they came out. Got your grain, it kind of runs this way throughout the pork loins. You can kind of see it better in here, especially on the side. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you can pick that up on video or not. There's some grain right there. So I'm gonna slice. So maybe, not quarter inch slices, maybe a little less than a quarter. Let's get that off right there. The temperature, guys, you're shooting at on these for a lean piece of meat is about 140. Now let's just cut it open in the middle just to see, showing this is done. And that's what you want right there. That's what you want in the middle. These are like a medium, medium rare. You can do pork loin like this. I wouldn't do ground pork like this, but uh, look at that, that's what you want. Look at the juice coming out of there. Good stuff, guys. Give it that a cut right there. And this is good. Even a piece like this, look, it's just tender. You can tell it's tender. Look how it's drooping over. So let's go ahead and give this a taste. Let's see what it got. Good. The flavors. Mm. <laughs> you can't even talk. Can't even talk. They <laughs> came through real good. You can taste that Italian seasoning and that chupacabra poultry seasoning. Baste it with some butter. Brought it up to 140. Indirect cooking. 
reverse sear, if you may say, did a little bit of smoke in here or what, came out good. So I hope you learned something from this video. Got any questions, like, subscribe, hit the like button, like I said, and stay tuned for more videos. Toothpicks. Let's, let's play it, Bruce. Let's play it. Toothpicks. Oh, you don't want to play it? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> she, she's trying to tell me to, to play it, so. Yes. I forgot. Let's show you what, what we um what we had. The wife made some potatoes and some kale, sauteed kale, spinach. Got me a little roll, a grocery store roll. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Put that over here. I, I totally forgot. She's gonna kick my butt. I sure was. After this, mm. I think I need a little more on that one. Yeah, why we do that? <laughs> There you go. So, awesome. got a little sauce. Let's put a little sauce over it. You're gonna use my sauce? Mm hmm. Give me a little sauce, a little pepper sauce. Thank you. What do you call this? Um, wine, pepper, sauce, something, something. Okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> so, there's a little sauce on that. You can eat the pork by itself or you can have it like that. However, you wanna do it. And there you go, guys. Now, like, subscribe, share this video. Two picks.